Hello and welcome to SPR Stew YouTube channel. Uh, welcome to Sunday. It's uh, now a long run day. Uh, I'm just getting my shoes on, ready to go out and do uh, 90 minutes easy. Uh, so yeah, it's quite warm out there. So I've got my run glide on, so we're all glided up. We've got my nip guards on, so we're all ready to go. Just putting my shoes on. Uh, what I wanted to do was go out, uh, do my run, and then we'll have a chat about uh, what my training's been the last week because this has been my last week of uh, 70.3 training because uh, this time next week we'll be in the actual race. So yeah, I just want to have a quick chat. I was going to film every day and do a thing every day, but life just gets in the way, doesn't it, of filming. So yeah, let's go and get this run done. Let's get out of this garage because it's quite warm in here. Uh, let's get this run done. And then uh, in the cool down, we can have a chat about how my week's gone, what I've been up to what's gone well, what hasn't gone well. So yeah, just if this information is helpful to anybody that's doing a 70.3 half Ironman, uh, yeah, what I'm doing, as I always keep saying, I am completely average. Uh, I'm not particularly great at anything. I'm okay at everything, but I'm not great at everything. So yeah, I'm pretty normal. Uh, so yeah, I'm sure you'll relate to uh, how I've gone this week and, and what's gone on and the rest of it. Yeah, I'm very much looking forward to uh, getting this 90 minute run out of the way and then uh, we can move on to the taper, which is, uh, yeah, a lot of people moan about the taper, but I love it. I love reducing volume and intensity uh, and yeah, hopefully have a nice week to recover the legs. So, right, let's get out, let's get this run done. <laughs> And there we have it, run done and dusted. Yeah, it's hot, it's muggy. Yeah, I'm absolutely soaked, but I got the Ironman shirt on to say, I'm an Ironman just so people don't forget. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, quickly talk about what happened this week. So uh, I was quite fatigued already for the start of this week with Swansea half and then Bosworth five miler. Yeah, it was, uh, I started the week pretty fatigued. So Monday did an hour's easy run yeah it didn't feel that easy but yeah tried to control it but that was an hour felt all right not great not terrible that was all right so after that we went to uh granted uh fitness granted uh torture chamber and uh yeah we did an hour strength and conditioning there he got me uh doing some box jumps and some box steps and uh yeah felt all right actually that day so yeah not too bad but yeah he put me through my paces sweating hard graft but strength and condition is good for us right so yeah it's uh, something i never used to do but i'm feeling much stronger for actually doing it so yeah monday not a bad day and then on to tuesday uh yeah i knew my legs were a little bit tired at work they felt a bit tired but yeah i didn't feel too bad uh so then tuesday night i got home from work i was supposed to do an hour 25 on swift uh got into it doing the warm-up the warm-up felt really hard work and then I was supposed to do, I think, three or four efforts. And on the first effort, there was absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I decided, let's knock it on the head. Let's just ride for an hour, just nice and simple, nice and easy. Couldn't even do that. So yeah, just absolutely pulled the pin. I think I did about 35 minutes in the end. Uh, yeah, just absolutely sacked it off. So not a good day, not a good day at all. Into Wednesday, woke up, legs absolutely killing me could hardly get out of bed 
I couldn't even sit on a toilet. Couldn't even sit on a toilet. It was, uh, yeah, my legs, my hamstrings were, oh my God, they were just crippled. Absolutely crippled. So yeah, Dave from Fitness Granted, I sent him a text to say I wasn't very happy with him, that uh, yeah, I really, really hurt, which obviously he just laughed and uh, said it's all part of it. Uh, but yeah, he don't care. And uh, yeah, so uh, tough day at work, struggled to walk around at work. Luckily, I've got a bit, I've, I have got a desk job, but I've got a bit of walking around as well. So I get to uh, walk around the shop floor sometimes or across the factory. So yeah, stretch my legs. Didn't feel any better towards the end of the day. But luckily Wednesday, swim day. So I went to uh, the Cov Tri swim session and uh, yeah, I had a fairly easy swim. Jumped down a lane because I knew knew my legs were sort of hurting so I didn't want to push it so yeah I sat on the front of like lane three which is our sort of middle lane yeah I felt all right not too bad yeah glad to have got that one done then on to Thursday which is uh put me down as a chain gang on the plan uh we couldn't really have a chain gang this week uh, purely for the fact uh we've got quite a lot that went down to Tenby uh, they've actually absolutely smashed it down Tenby at long course weekend and we've got another big group over in France, they've been doing a, a big cycle tour. They rode from Coventry down, down to France and across the, I think the northern border of France. So yeah, so there was no one here really to do a chain gang. But Matt Skulls uh, messaged uh, to say he was still gonna go out. So I said, I'll go out with him. Uh, we both agreed that our legs weren't great. So we decided to go out steady. We said, let's just keep it steady. Let's just roll it round. He wasn't feeling great, he'd rode the night before. Obviously my legs were absolutely killing from uh, the strength and conditioning. But then we started rolling into it, getting a bit faster, getting a bit faster. Till the end, I think we were pretty much all out towards the end. So yeah, with a slow start, we've got to be pretty pleased with these results. We sort of did just under 21 mile an hour and we hardly, we hardly pedaled in the first sort of quarter of that. So. Yeah, we must have been going pretty quick towards the end of that. So yeah, my normalized power is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I felt pretty good to be fair. Even at the end, I felt really good. So yeah, Thursday, good day. And then on to Friday. Uh, yeah, just run out of time. I had some babysitting to do. I had to look after my nephew because my niece had a sports day. So I went there, had to cut the grass. Uh, a few of the things we had to do. I can't remember what we were doing, but we were in and out. So. Yeah, oh, I had to go and sort the pool out. Uh, you can coach in uh, pool on Friday. So it, uh, yeah, looked after that. So yeah, we sort of, I just sort of ran out of time. So Friday session just got completely sacked off, but that's okay. It's, uh, I can't do every single session, especially when there's sessions planned over sort of seven days. I just ain't gonna do them all, am I? So yeah, I'd like to, but in reality, it ain't gonna happen. On to Saturday, uh, long ride day. I had three hours to do. Uh, yeah, I went on a TT bike on my own. Yeah, it just felt good. Yeah, felt comfortable, no cafe stop. Just rolled round. I think I did just over sort of 50 miles in three hours. So about 18 mile an hour. Felt really good. Yeah, it made sure I, I drank better and I ate better because I've sort of been struggling on my runs the following day after my bike ride. Uh, and my coach says I need to eat more on my uh, bike sessions, which makes perfect sense, doesn't it really? So yeah, no wonder I'm dying on my run sessions when I'm not eating enough uh, on my uh, bike session. So yeah, good session, really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, felt good at the end of that. And that brings us to today. So I'll put the stats up for this run. Yeah, probably the best I've felt, like I say, because I probably ate and drank better on the bike. So listen to your coaches, they do know best. Uh, yeah, probably the best run the day after the bike that I've had in a very long time. So uh, yeah, really pleasing a week out from my race. So yeah, I'm feeling good. Now we sort of go into the taper. I'm gonna turn around because I've walked past my own house uh, to do this filming. Uh, so yeah, I feel really good a week out. Gonna taper this week. I might record some of the, the taper stuff I'm doing. Uh, yeah, looking forward to my first 70.3 in a very long time. I don't even know how, how many years it's been. But I'm looking forward to it. It is a B race of mine. It's not an A race, so I'm not not expecting too much but i still want to give it a good shot so it is our club championship so i'd like to do all right so yeah that was a week of uh, my last week of 70 point free training so gone mixed but towards the end really well really pleased with it right now i'm gonna have a drink so please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video